Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Momolus and today I will review the debut album by the popular groove metal band, thrash metal band. I'm not exactly sure what they are. You know, they were kind of new metal for a bit. Oh, well, that really turned out, didn't it, uh, Rob Flynn? Fuck sake. Uh, Machine Head with their debut album, Burn My Eyes. Um, I have kind of a 100% well, love-hate relationship. I kind of hated on Machine Head for a bit because they never really sounded that interesting to me. They sound like a wife beater band to me. <laughs> what, I, what I mean with that is that their music, it sounds like... You know, it sounds like the soundtrack to beating your wife or something, or, you know, to beat up your family, or your children. That is how it sounds to me. Um, and listening to this record, yeah, I was kind of right. I've heard some Machine Head songs here and there before. Um, that new album is fucking horrible, by the way. I Like, pretty much everyone hates the new album. I hate it. It's fucking dog shit. That's album cover too. Like... Like, that only establishes my theory more. There's literally a bleeding wife on the floor, like, holding herself together. Like, if, if that's not wife-beating material, wife-beating material, then I don't know what is. Um, you know, all jokes aside, um, you know, Machina had obviously influenced by, um, you know, bands like Pantera, I want to say a band before that, Sepultura maybe? Uh, you know, Sepultura basically ripped off uh, Pantera in the 90s and then they ripped off Korn with uh, with their Roots album, so Sepultura, uninspired as hell, of course, you know, before that they were pretty, pretty good I would say, but you know, after that they really, really went down the drain when they were chasing trends and you know, after their uh, creative, uh, you know, their creative leader went, you know, he pretty much took all the creativity the creativity with him and the band just became shit. Uh, this band didn't become shit after this album, but they did kind of go downhill as in ratings as well, so. Um, but their debut album is pretty solid, I would say. Um, yeah, I kind of hate and... Well, not percent love hate, but I kind of like and dislike the album cover. I like it for how unique it looks and for, yeah, just, you know, it's definitely a product of its time. It definitely looks kind of dated right now, but it does look unique though. You know, I like the, the logo with the kind of nuclear kind of logo with uh, the black and yellow. I do like that. That's a good, that's a good cover right there, or that's a good logo. Uh, I kinda, I'm kind of iffy on the cover though. Like, yeah, you know, I think it. I think it kind of looks bad. You know, especially with the robot or the human with the photoshopped eyes. You know, going like it kind of wants to create a 3D effect. It kind of looks shitty, but you know, I do respect it because it is a unique looking album cover. So I'm kind of iffy on it. But if you like it, you know. You know, I don't mind it. I can see why, so there you go. And I already got two ratings on the, on the professional rating skill. Uh, it got pretty good ratings. It got a four and a half on all music and on uh, four and a half by the rate, the users. And it got five stars by Kerrang. So people definitely like this album and I like it too. The only problem that I have with the album really that it sounds really over aggressive in a way. Rob Flynn really wants to show off that he has like a big dick or something. That That's kind of how he comes over to me. He kind of comes over as this like, uh, you know, this kind of bitchy uh, fucking douchebag. That's how it comes over to me. Uh, it's not per se that his music is bad, but I just think that his personality comes out a bit too much in his music, I think. That's kind of why Machine Head is not the perfect band for me. I don't, I don't think they're a terrible band. But I do kind of hate Machine Head because, you know, I'm just not a huge fan of Rob Flynn. That, that's, that's kind of it, honestly. You know, the whole white power situation and, you know, him with his fucking... Uh, Racism in metal video, like, like, yeah, you know, I'm getting personal now. Fuck that, yeah, you know, just fuck Rob Flynn. I don't like that guy, but you know, he makes he makes some good music. You know, I, I have to say that. So there you go. 
Um, yeah, so we start off with the opening track, uh, The Vidian. A very cool title, very catchy track. It's actually, I believe, the most popular Machina track. I could definitely see why. The grooves are very, uh, yeah, just very catchy, very groovy. Starts up the album pretty nice. It's pretty much my favorite Machina song because the song sounds unique. You know, it, it kind of sounds Pantera influenced and uh, yeah, yeah, Sepultura came before this album. A fucking Chaos ID in '93. So yeah, you you first had of course uh, Cowboys and Vulgar '90 and '92. Uh, then Chaos ID from Sepultura. You know, before that, Pantera, respectively. So, yeah, those albums and then this album. And uh, Far Beyond Driven. And yeah, yeah, I want to say, did, have, did uh, Sepultura have an album, but then they released Roots and they went to shit. So there you go. Um, yeah, so definitely good opening track. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty much my favorite Machine Head song at the moment. It's a pretty solid song all around and yeah, I like it. Uh, then we got Old, which is also a pretty uh, old school sounding metal song. It kind of pays tribute to, you know, heavy metal legends, I would say. Uh, you know, Iron Maiden and Motorhead. You know, it, that, that, that doesn't, you know, it's not per se those bands, but, you know, for example, it's kind of resemblance old heavy metal like that, Judas Priest, Sabbath, of course. So, uh, you know, bands like that. Definitely appreciate the gesture. Um, yeah, I appreciate that the song exists, it's pretty solid all around and yeah, I like the two, pretty uh, short and sweet to the point, four minutes, pretty solid all around. Uh, it's it's a tiny bit weaker than the video, the video was a really good opening track and then you know Old was a solid uh, follow up track but a bit lesser but still one of my favorite songs on the album. Uh, now we got A Thousand Lies and this is definitely where the wife beating metaphor comes into play i would say the first two tracks were kind of a warm-up and then the album really gets kind of dark and kind of groovy i would say um it kind of gets the worst and the best out of the band because you have some like very instrumental moments which you really enjoy and then you get some really fucking cringy lyrics and some really um awkward moments you know some really cringy screams which don't really hold up too well so this is definitely uh, kind of a, well not per se jumping the, jumping the shark moment, but um, you know, what's the thing? It, 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 it's kind of a, you know, uh, this is the turning point for the band, I would say. After this, you know, the band did really become wife beaters. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, I keep bringing it up, but it's such a cool, or cool, it's such a funny metaphor, I would say, so there you go. Uh, then we get None But My Own, and this is a very vague track, uh, didn't really get a lot out of it, it just kind of went on for 6 minutes, you know. A Thousand Lies and Not, Not But My Own uh, kind of go on for 6 minutes and, um, you know, 13, 14 seconds respectively. So, I uh, didn't really get a lot out of this track, mainly because uh, it just kind of went on forever and, you know, the track says none, so I just didn't really get a lot out of it, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of an air track, kind of a dud. Then we get the Rage to Overcome fifth, uh, fifth track. Uh, this is definitely kind of a trashy track. Uh, you know, the first side of the album is more groove oriented. And I would say that the second side is more trashy, more aggressive, more... I would almost say uh, death metal in a way, almost. It's, it's more on the trash roots, but you know, trash with some blast beats. That's, that's how I would describe it. Um, yeah, good stuff. Um, this is pretty like a jump the fuck up kind of music. Um, it's got me pretty trashing though, it's got me pretty trashed out. That's what I enjoy about it. Uh, yeah, you know, a uh, pretty solid track all around, kind of goes back to the old, you know, to the first two songs, to the old days, uh, yeah, same fucking album. Uh, yeah, but this is definitely a good, you know, what's the thing, kind of a cool centerpiece together with the second or the, the upcoming song, which is Death Church. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, Machina songs at the moment. Such a heavy fucking song, it's uh, also the longest song of the album, 6 minutes and 30 to 32 seconds. Uh, yeah, this is a very great track, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, very, very enjoyable riffs. 
this is definitely I would say kind of a um, I, I won't say Black Sabbath Mayhem tribute. You know, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm right there, but it does really sound like that to me. You know, it sounds uh, kind of doomy and it sounds kind of like black metal in a way. Not exactly, but you know, some parts are really like screechy, very screechy vocals by Rob Flynn. So uh, this is definitely a very great centerpiece song. Amazing, amazing uh, musicality. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah, I would say it's my favorite track. It's a really epic song. It's kind of angsty, I would say, Death Church. You know, it's definitely kind of a controversial uh, eyebrow raiser, I would say. It's definitely a, you know, an edgy kind of, well, clickbait, uh, you know, of course not them, but. It's definitely a uh, an old choice to be to put on here, but it definitely works for me. It's a great track, and I really enjoyed it. So there we go. Uh, then we get a nation on fire. This was a really catchy track for me too. Uh, yeah, just a very very uh, in your face, very brutal, and while still maintaining that catchiness. I do really like uh, that about Machine Head, although they're kind of terrible now. But I do think that back in the day, Machine had made some really like catchy tracks, whilst you know, while uh, being very fucking heavy. And that's probably the best thing about Machine Head, that they have those, you know, that's black and white kind of nature. That they are pretty fucking brutal when they want to, and you know, then they can bring the catchiness, the the folky shit, the you know, the metal parts. That's what that's probably the best thing about Machine Head, I would say. That's a really enjoyable aspect of, about their music. Uh, so, a Nation of Fire kind of is like that, and that's probably what's one of my favorite tracks. Yeah, it's pretty much together with the first two songs, my my favorite track on the album. It's just a very like great song. I really like it. Very catchy track. So definitely check it out. Uh, then the album kind of takes another uh, 180 and it kind of goes religious, you know, uh, politics and shit like that, especially the latter, I would say. Uh, Blood for Blood is, a, is definitely kind of a political statement, I would say, you know, that, uh, you know, Blood for Blood, um, you know, we have soldiers fighting and, you know, killing the bad guys for blood, but they also sacrifice blood. That, that's probably what I'm getting out of this track. It's kind of a contradictory kind of track. It's you know kind of cliche. It's kind of generic. You know, it's it's kind of all right, I suppose. I didn't really mind it. Uh, yeah. So this is definitely a you know, eh kind of track. You know, I like it. So yeah, you know, there there you go. It's a good track, but um, you know. It, it kind of sounds too much like a Pantera or Sepultura track. You know, the thing is with Machine Head, they kind of sound like... Uh, they want to sound like Pantera, I think. But they sound, you know, they want to be as catchy as Pantera. But they kind of sound like Sepultura. That's how I think, you know, more groove oriented. More kind of fake-ish, I would say. You know, not, not that Sepultura is a fake band or something sometimes. In my, especially nowadays, but... Uh, but I but I think that they sound like you know they want to sound like Pantera, but they sound more like Sepultura behind the uh, without the substance. So they sound like a Sepultura clone to me, you know KLCD era, um, or even fucking uh, Arise era, Arise KLCD era I would say, or even Beneath the Remains, turn it all in there too. It kind of sound like that to me without any substance. That that's how Machine Head sounds to me. Uh, yeah, you know, without the messages that Sepultura brings, or without the you know, uh, you know, they have political messages too. But most of the time, they actually come across fairly well. Whereas Machine Head, you know, they kind of have baked the whole thing. So there you go. That's how I think about it. And speaking about religious tracks, we have Arm Your God now. And the album really goes downhill from here. Um, I did really enjoy uh, the, f you know, the first, um, I would say seven tracks. The first seven tracks were really fucking good in my opinion. And then the album kind of goes downhill, with, you know, with Blood for Blood, which was kind of mediocre. And then you have I'm Your God Now, uh, a very like in your face kind of track that is like, oh yeah, I'm re I'm religion itself, I'm overthrowing it or something. You know, a subject that uh, Slayer already fucking tackled years ago before this, so there you go. 
so not really anything new here um yeah, I was just not a huge fan of the length too, 5 minutes and 50 seconds. I, I did really like it on uh, on A Nation of Fire, which is kind of the same length with Death Church because the structure is so fucking great. But I do think that the album does kind of take a nosedive with this track because it's way too fucking religious. It's way too, you know, edgy, you know, it tries to be controversial. It just didn't really work out for me. Um, you know, musically it's alright, but you know... The band really goes into this dark path right now uh, where they're basically sounding like, you know, the fucking, or, you know, not percent suicide notes, you know, from Pantera because it was two years after this album. But they basically sound like, um, you know, like fucking metal guys that's trying to, to be religious or something. It just doesn't work out for me. You know, they just want, they just want to grab your attention, I would say, so... Yeah, don't fall for it, I would say. Uh, then we have Real Eyes, Real Lies, Real Lies. What a fucking retarded title. You know, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, yeah, it's all right. And then, then I was reading it and I, and I was like, this is so fucking retarded. Um, yeah, this is pretty much together with the last track, my least favorite track of the album because it's basically a spoken word of some fucking political bullshit. It's not even a song, I would say. It's more of a spoken word album i didn't really mind it uh it's you know it's yeah it's just okay i guess you know it's it's not per se okay it's kind of bad it's just two minutes and 45 seconds it's just basically wasting my time because it's kind of like one of those transitional kind of moments near towards the ending of the album so it's kind of pointless so fuck this song you know if you can even call it a song it's more of a spoken word and then we have Block, which is, in my opinion, the uh, the worst real song on this album. You know, if you don't count, uh, real eyes, real lies, real lies. Like, what the fucking dumbass style, oh, fuck sake, man. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, Block, uh, this is the white beater song, like, fuck sake, man. Um, this track is just so fucking aggressive, it's just so... You know, it's style without substance, this track. I just really despise this kind of, you know, machine head. This is basically, you know, the catharsis that I'm talking about here. Um, it's just so bland. It's just so, like, a dud, I would say. It's just such a shitty way to close out an album. You know, you started out so well with Davidian and Old, and, you know, later on with The Race to Overcome, Death Church, and Nation on Fire. Great tracks, I love those tracks, but like what the hell is up with Block though, like what the fuck man. And, like this track is so fucking bad, it's just so, yeah, it's just basically this track is style, uh, style without substance, that's basically what it is. You know, I can't go further more after that, but that's basically what it is, so what else would I say about it. And yeah, that fade out part where the, the shit gets heavier and heavier and heavier. Like, I hate that, like, like, there are some bands that do that, that, you know, I don't mind. <clears throat> but Machine Edge, you know, it just sounds really fucking bad on Block. And they end on the worst possible fucking note. The, the pitch only goes higher and then it ends, it suddenly abruptly ends. So, um, yeah, the ending is really fucking bad of this album. The opening is pretty good of this album, so... I kind of feel divided on the album right now, the first side is pretty good and then it kind of goes south, you know, with the last few tracks, with the last four tracks and the first seven are pretty good. So, despite me hating pretty much the last songs, I did really enjoy the first couple of tracks. So, I'm going to give this album an, um, I'm going to give it an 8.2. Yeah, that seems fair. I'm going to give it an 8.2, it's a pretty good album, but... If only that ending was better, if only. So yeah, that's my opinion. If you want, or I'm gonna review two more Machine Head albums, of course, The Blackening and I believe Into the Locust or maybe something else, I don't know. You know, they're most popular albums. Um, yeah, still not a huge fan of Machine Head, but this album is pretty solid, so check, uh, check it definitely out. You know, I, I can deny good music, even though I'm not a fan of it, so there you go. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Let me know uh, what do you think of Machine Head. I kind of hate them, but at the same time, they're a pretty solid band, so what do you do? Uh, yeah, there you go, that's my opinion on the band and on the song, and I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.